So starting out with our very first essay, let's attack a very easy essay as our first one. This will give us a lot of practice and it will be painless to do, okay? You can trust me on that. So we're going to start with the personal essay. The personal essay, as you can see, is a personal essay. So this essay will be about yourself and you will be writing to a prompt. I'm going to have you be writing to prompts often now because that's what you're going to see when you take the ACT or the SAT as well as um, when you get into college, typically you'll have an assignment. So we're going to be doing a lot of prompt writing. I'm going to teach you how to read the prompts. You'll learn about that a little bit more just like we did when we were reading those uh, when we did our uh, paragraph assignments. But the personal essay is written in first person about the writer's life. So you will be using the words I. You will be using the words I, my, me because this essay is about you. And so you will use the word I and me and my. Personal pronouns. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the very first um, assignment that I am going to do model for you. So you'll see my prompt in your workbook there and it says, write a personal essay about the impact your best friend has had on your life. Explain how this person has affected you and those around him or her. So when I see that word explain, I recognize already that the personal essay is an expository essay because it is explaining. So this personal essay is a kind of expository essay. Write a personal essay, so that means I'm going to use the words I, my, and me about the impact your best friend has had on your life. So I'm going to talk about this person, but how they have affected me. And I'm going to explain, that's why I'm going to have three body paragraphs, is because to explain, you don't just say blah, 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 you actually explain. So explain how this person has affected you and those around him or her. <clears throat> so it can actually be talking about out there, but here mostly. So the first thing I need to do is make a plan. And I will definitely, with this one, make a bubble spider plan, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put the person that I have chosen here. And that is John. And from there, I'm going to tell the things about John that I think have really impacted my life about him. And so from that uh, main topic, I will have three body paragraphs. Now, when I write this plan, I can put as many little stems out here as I want and then choose the best three. And that's actually the best way, unless I already have it in my head. But the best way is to actually list a whole bunch and then pick the one, the three that you think will be the easiest to write to and will give the best explanations. And so from this, I have to read my prompt again, write a personal essay about the impact your best friend has had on your life and explain how this person has affected you and those around him or her. So I am going to write this from a perspective of being in school. So I'm going to go back a few years, not very many years, and pretend like I'm in high school so that I can write this from that perspective so you can get a feel of what that should look like. So let's see here. Let me think about some things um, that I can put here. Well, first of all, John is the kind of friend that makes, he makes me a better person because he challenges me. Uh, let's see, John is, um, yeah, he's someone I can talk to. That's how he's impacted me. And I'm going to put personal issues here because, you know, more so than anything, those are the kinds of issues that are great to be able to talk to him about. Personal issues. Uh, let's see. He actually helps me when I need help. And I could have obviously draw, drew bubbles and written in the bubbles. That's okay, too. Uh, let's see here. He's a happy person. Uh, let's see. He's an encourager. And I think I'll stop there. So there is my plan for my personal essay. 
and these are the things that I'm going to think about writing to. Now, when I'm making this plan, I often need to look and say, can I combine any of these? Because sometimes they are sort of the same. So let's check that out and see. Makes me a better person. He's happy. He's encourager. Um, nope. This one could kind of go with this one, but I'm actually thinking he helps me when I need help. That could be things that uh, um, I could be talking about with him. So that could actually go here or it could go here. Uh, someone I can talk to about personal issues because he does encourage me in that area. So I'm going to mark that one off and just make for sure that I include encourager in one of these or somehow because that will go together. And then let's see, he's a happy person. So let's see, makes me a better person. This is one of the things, um, actually let's just exclude that one totally because these three are probably the most powerful that I can talk about. So I have my plan and now I will be ready to move forward in looking at planning the rest of my paragraph, but before um, my essay. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and plan my opening paragraph just as the basics here and I'm going to write it in green up here and my closing paragraph. Um, I'm, I'm simply going to just write a simple phrase that will help me to know, okay, this is probably what I want to say for my opening paragraph and this is probably what I want to say for my closing paragraph and I don't have to stick with it because again, this is a plan. This may change as I go along. But let's see, if I'm writing about John and how he's impacted my life, I'm going to start just by saying a best friend is important. That's a good, basically, uh, general statement that, that will be along with my topic. And let's see, for my closing, I will wrap it up and I will say that, uh, yeah, definitely best friend will have to be in there and then that I will stay connected because of our friendship. Now, that was just something simple that I threw into this plan because it will help me as I am getting ready to plan my, my opening paragraph and then when I'm ready to plan my closing paragraph, it'll be ready. So now I'm ready to move forward and write some plans for my body paragraphs and start with the opening paragraph and move straight through the essay in the drafting portion. So what you need to do now is read your prompts choose one of the prompts to pick to pick from one of the prompts that's listed there and then make your plan organize your thoughts